Tinubu takes tough decisions to hurt the poor masses, but to the benefit of his colleague politicians. This man has been coming out to say a lot of rhetorics. Oh, I know your pain. Let the poor breathe. This and this. All those blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay, he's trying to justify the reason why subsidy, first subsidy was removed in the first place. Has he come out to tell Nigerians that he has started paying the same subsidy he said he removed? The presidency has not come out to say anything because a lot of people... You know, from all indications, from things happening, from the way things have been going, know very well, people know very well that the subsidy has really come back. And they have not come out to debunk it. It will come and tell you, oh, this is what I feel. I know your pain. I know the hardship. It's a lie. Story, story, story. According to Tinubu, Nigeria needs leaders who are willing to make difficult decisions now in order to secure a better future for the country. He emphasized the importance of sacrifice and hard work to achieve the restoration of Nigeria. While speaking to a delegation led by the UMA president, Rasaki Oladejo, at the State House of Abuja, Tinubu expressed his belief that he, the current challenges facing Nigeria are only temporary and that better days are ahead. He emphasized the need to maintain faith in the country's failure and in its ability to overcome adversity. The president assured Nigerians that his administration is working hard to improve the economy and create a fairer, more honest society where hard work is rewarded. He emphasized that his policies are designed to make life better for all Nigerians. The president stated that the future of Nigeria is of the utmost importance and emphasized the need to persevere through any challenges that arise. He pointed out that even though it may seem difficult, he believes things will get better. He also acknowledged that removing the petroleum subsidy has been avoided for a long time but is necessary for the country's future. That is why to tell you that is to tell you that hey, this man is a liar. This man is a liar, a big one at that. You that you have been paying back subsidy. The question is that, is it, or is it by sharing money? You are not producing anything. People will say, oh, they are, they are just criticizing these people without profiling solutions. All the solutions that people have told them. They themselves, even before they came on board, they, they were profiling solutions. They were telling the government of the day, even before he came on board and his colleagues, they will be telling government this is what you want to you are, you are supposed to do and people say yes that is what they are supposed to do but now you are there you are not doing it you now say sharing money you will, will elevate poverty and the policies that we are rolling out they make no sense they make no sense you are making policies we have have all nigerians who are going through hardship but you select few according to you which we know you guys are just lying you are, you are saying some a few individuals will be paid some amount of money. Then what happens to the rest people? So are you telling us that the 15 million or whatever household you always talk about, they are the only poor people in Nigeria? Is that what you are saying? Because they will not say, say that, tell you that, say, oh, it is the poorest of the poor. So the poorest of the poor are just the 15 million household. Is that what these guys are telling us? And these useless things that you guys are sharing, is that how to improve the economy? The nonsense thing that uh, your party did during Buhari's era, you continue to do it. How have all of those money they shared under your party in, in, in 2015 to 2023, how have they benefited the people? How have they alleviated the poverty that people have been talking about? Ushiba, you don't want to talk, 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 talk nonsense. Oh, we are going to uh, 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 lift 15 million. 10 million out of poverty, this and this and that. Unfortunately, they dipped people more into poverty. And this one is coming to tell us he's a human man, humanitarian minister or whatever. The one they call a better edu. You can imagine. Now that kind of person, they say you go over the university. So this is how they, they just share money. You don't, you don't, you are not even creating an, an enabling environment for people to even work themselves and do the right thing. They say they go to university. This one say they go to Chicago State University. See, see the kind of brain where they get.
see the kind of brain they still went outside the country to go and school to work, acquire education yet they come back and resort to all this nonsense how to fear quoi to fear quoi hmm? can you imagine they say to fear quoi is to fear quoi Tirimbo acknowledged that the removal of the petroleum subsidy has been difficult but necessary to avoid collapse of the country's economy. As the economy not collapse, he also expressed his gratitude for the support and prayers of the Muslim leaders and reaffirmed his commitment to empowering the youth and creating an environment in which they call thrive. See, that's a Muslim. See, see well, if now somebody makes that statement, you now they will say, oh, you are, you are, you are religious by gods. Mm, mostly praying for you. Razak Eladejo, accompanied by Minister Adigboye, Adigboye Gawitola. You see, those who could not even manage the state, those are the people is dashing this year and there, dashing positions here and there. Yes, he praised Tinubu for his courage in removing the petroleum subsidy and initiating much needed reforms, despite the challenges involved. Oladejo commended Tinubu for breaking through the impasse at, that would have prevented previous leaders from removing the subsidy and express hope that God would guide him through these difficult times ahead. Mm. You see there? You see there? Are these some uh, leaders that you are talking about? They will tell you, you remove the first subsidy and people are suffering. No plan in place. They want to share money to just few individuals. The rest of people, what happens to them? They should they are bound to the Philistines. Oh my goodness. So guys, let's say your opinion and have your take on this. Thank you.